the insect festival, one of the opportunities that people have is to get some crickets that we give them and you go out in the garden and if you spot a lizard and you don't scare them, you can toss a cricket to the lizard and oftentimes that lizard will run over and eat the cricket. Lizards are a great thing for kids and I think families as well. Here at the San Diego Botanic Garden, we actually have five different species of lizards that you can see, but the most common ones are either going to be the western fence lizards, sometimes called blue bellies, because they have a lot of blue down their sides like that, particularly the males. And the other one is the side blotch lizard, which you can tell pretty easily also, because the males in those have a big dark spot right behind their foreleg. Now, they're very beneficial to the garden here. We're really pleased that we have them here, because they eat a lot of insects, and a lot of insects, of course, would be those that would be eating the plants. But if you don't have lizards in your garden, there's a good chance the reason is that neighborhood cats and other things that have changed the environment for them and no longer make it suitable for them to live there. Have you seen a lizard like that before? No. That's a western skink. Isn't he pretty? Is his pretty blue tail on him? Well, you're looking at one of the real jewels of our native lizards here. Not often seen, though. Uh, this is a baby western skink. And the babies have these incredibly electric blue tails, uh, making them very, very pretty, but probably serving the purpose of attracting a predator to the tail rather than the lizard, so the lizard would potentially get to escape. Um, this blue tail is something that they don't keep throughout their life, however. This is something that they lose as they get older. They don't get very big. They're probably only about five or six inches long total when they become adults, but this is a little baby here, probably just recently hatched from the egg. Watch that frog. He's going to go over and get that cracker now. Watch him. Watch him. He's going to leap for it. He's, he's getting his legs ready. Up there he goes. Uh, uh, not a very good shot. But actually, you know, he might have caught a fish, though, which is what he'd prefer probably catching. Our bamboo pond here in the San Diego Botanic Garden is one of the big attractions. And uh, the beautiful lilies, the flowers, but also it's home to our population of bullfrogs. And the bullfrogs here are a big hit. Kids love them. Adults love them. Our bullfrogs are accustomed to people, so you get to see them up close, which you typically don't get to see anywhere else. But we do maintain that the bullfrogs stay just in this pond, because on our other ponds, our native ponds, they have the native frogs, and the bullfrogs will eat all the native frogs. How? Well, see, see where his eye is? Yeah. Right behind his eye. See that big round patch yeah, there? Yeah, it's like where they croak. No, actually, that's where he hears. Oh. That's his tympanum, or his eardrum. And it's bigger on the males than it is on the females. <laughs> but I think the neat thing about this is the fact that, you know, kids and adults likewise can get to see the frogs up close. I mean, look at how big his webbed feet are. Look at how he swims, though. He's, he's a good swimmer. Boy, I wish I could swim like that. We've got some native Pacific tree frogs here. Uh, and when you see the size of them, you'll understand why they aren't a good match for bullfrogs. See that green guy down there in the corner? That's an adult male native Pacific tree frog. And they're one of the frogs that's still fairly common here. You'll hear them oftentimes as any standing fresh water in the spring and actually into the summer. But the important thing is that they're not anywhere near those bullfrogs, because the bullfrogs would eat these guys up real easy. So bullfrogs are fun to watch here in the bamboo pond, but um, if you have a bullfrog, make sure that you don't just turn it loose in a native lagoon someplace because that would be the wrong place for it.